Well, good morning, you guys. You have missed me for the last, I don't know, 11, 12 days. Um, I have been moving into a new house here in East Tennessee out of my little apartment and uh, have a girlfriend now. So, took a little break from fishing after my crazy Venice, Louisiana adventure and the striper one that you may not have seen yet. If you haven't, go watch that. One of the best striper videos we've ever posted. There's not a lot of B-roll, but we caught a ton of fish. So uh, anyway, this morning we're gonna go flathead catfishing here um, and target post pond, post pond, post spawn fish uh, back in a really muddy creek from where it's rained a lot. Um, there's a lot of bait back in there and uh, we went jugging in it uh, just to see if there were any fish there about a week ago and just flat murdered them. So I'm a little late this morning. I just realized that I left my anchors at my old apartment and I ain't going back all the way over there. So I had to go by the Home Depot and uh, buy the most classy anchors of all time, the cinder block. So we gotta make a couple cinder block anchors. And I also just realized that from my trip to Venice, the saltwater trip, my battery packs for my GoPro have all corroded on the terminals and I couldn't charge them last night. So I've also got to go to Walmart this morning and buy some battery packs so I can film for my GoPro because I'm the only one out there. So you have to bear with me a little bit. If I don't catch Dooley this morning, then uh, me and Nick and maybe Brian are going to go this evening right at dusk. So I'm sure we're going to catch something. We just got to see what it is. Stay tuned. yonder in this creek but yeah this is where we're fishing i came in before i had my gopro charged and there were some skipjack busting so i caught a few skipjacks and now i'm coming to the back of this creek basically on this like most of it's really clear and there are creek systems that aren't clear that have running water coming into them and when you find those areas where they aren't clear at least in the back uh, there's always a bunch of thread fin and gizzard shad, and right now there's a bunch of skipjack and white bass chasing stuff uh, out the other way. Look, there's a, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's a school of shad right there. They're, the new shad hatch, like this small, and those fish are eating those. Uh, this, the shad, or not the shad, the skipjack and the white bass, and the bass are in here eating those. And the big catfish, I hope, are going to be in here eating those big ones those bigger baits so the wind's coming this way out of the creek if there is any current it would be coming from that way too so i'm going to throw an anchor up here and then an anchor back there and we're going to fish this area right here and it's basically got a point right there and then there's a bunch of just timber all in the water around here and tons of bait like you can see a tree sticking up right there i forgot my depth finder at home so i can't go around and scan stuff but I'm thinking we're going to catch some catfish over here. I'm just going to come back in here, try to pick them up active. Again, it's about two and a half hours later than uh, what I wanted it to be out here. And what it, when I wanted it to be out here. So we're just going to have to rock with what we got, as they say, and uh, fish. Yeah, look, there's bait right there. So, yeah. I'm hoping this wind doesn't change directions on me five billion times and spin me around because there's not, like, a lot of current. Probably not much of any. All right, so I got us going backwards. We're going to come up here and really didn't need to bring this giant cooler. It's just the only one I had ice in. Throw that out. I'm probably gonna let out 50 feet. Yeah, the wind changed from that way to that way now. So we're spinning in a circle. It's definitely gonna have to double anchor and there's not really anywhere on the bank for me to just pull up here. It doesn't look like. 
so. I think I put out way too much anchor on here. We'll see. Kind of rusty at this, guys. I ain't been catfishing in a while. In a while. Not super important that I really stick in any one direction because I've got rod holders everywhere. But once I get stuck, I want to stick. Okay, so I got this out. Now I'm going to throw this back anchor. Bump it one time back. I'm going to throw the back anchor over here. Pull them tight. And we want to get them as tight as we can so that the boat doesn't sway. One, when we're in the wind here. And two, when we hook up with a fish. If we hook up with a fish. It's always an if when you can do this. I mean, I caught, caught some fresh bait. So that's good. Look, there's some busting right there. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to come up to this front one and we're going to get it a little bit tighter. And then I think we're going to be in business. And I can tell once it gets, you can tell that the back one's getting tight. Look, there's bait busting right next to me. The back one gets tight when the front one starts getting tight. So... That looks pretty good to me. Pretty new rope. Okay, so that's all done. Get this out of the way. And then, yeah, this is where we're fishing. No clue if there's any catfish in here right now. It's bluebird skies, which is not super ideal. More bait busting right there. So at least the bait fish are active and the bass and whatnot. I'm hoping a catfish or two will be active. We're gonna fish here till about lunchtime. Then I'm gonna go take a break and get some adulting stuff done. And then we're gonna come back out this evening with a uh, old Nicky boy. Brought me a chair too. Back's kind of been hurting lately. So we'll go ahead and get that sucker set up. And then what we're using for gear, got a bunch of big cat fever rods. This is a Hellcat medium heavy or a medium one of the two and then the black rods are either medium heavies or heavies and those are what i'm going to throw the bigger baits with on the black rods because they're just got a little bit more power to them um just makes throwing those baits a little bit easier and we're going to throw out a large spread a large one because i got the rods and i got the bait too let's go i got 10 rods too floats. All right, let's see what weights I got. I have not done this in so long. I don't even know what I got in here. Can't remember if I need to get more weights or not. Don't need that guy. That's gigantic. Um, I mean, we may have to throw some six ounce ones back in here. Ideally, when you're in situations where there's like no current um, you want to throw as small weights as possible two is like a little bit too small to throw in these rods um, the bait ends up flying further than the sinker itself I and mean, it's just a mess like three or four is like where i like to be in no current maybe five because you really get can get some distance we've okay, we got one two there's 10, we're good, all right. We're fishing now. Gotta get a new ammo tin for the random stuff. That got broken. Okay. There's nine. I'm probably gonna sit here and cast for skipjack too while rods are soaking because I got the ADHDs and I can't sit here. 
for long without doing something. And I didn't charge my phone all the way to full, so I can't watch TikTok the whole time while I'm out here. So, it just kind of be like that sometimes. When we came jugging out here, probably getting some wind noise right now, most of the big flatheads came from here. There's a point that wraps around, and I think there's a bunch of timber out here. And it seems where a lot of the gizzard shack congregates right there too, so it's kind of like a feeding bay for them, I reckon. I don't know. I'm not a professional. I just kind of get lucky. But yeah, I'll be right back. I'm going to get these rods out, get weights on them, and we'll do, do some casting, big fan casting, and see if we can catch fish. All right, so here's... Let me make sure I don't get anything on my camera. Yeah, that's good. Here's going to be the spread. All around the boat, we got 10 rods, and we got skipjack literally eating stuff all around us. There have got to be at least a channel cat in here, like at least a channel cat somewhere. We got the freshies of the fresh bait, literally just caught. I just caught these guys. So we, we ain't bait poor. We're going to use some good chunks because we want to catch us a good fish here. That's the goal today and every day. But some days you just gotta have a good time because the fish don't cooperate. I'd be hoping the fish cooperate. But look, that's what they're eating in here. Those guys just hatched. Those are little thread fins. Pretty cool. Fresh is best. Look, I'm even gonna chum with some tails. Give some turtles some stuff to chew on. The water temp's still pretty high in here. I bet it's high 70s, um, low 80s. So we'll probably get turtle and guard a moderate amount. But we got to make that as our trade off to catch a big and by golly, that's what we'll do. Once that water temp gets in like the low 60s, high 50s, for whatever reason, the turtle and gar, they get up on out of here. Probably because they like warmer water. So they go out deeper. Um, put a head on this. Yeah. And I'm going to launch a couple just straight up the creek. Just so we're covering all our bases. I just put this line on too, and I did not stretch it all out and reel it back in really tight. So it very well could dig in when a big fish hits, but that's just a part of the game when wacky stuff happens. And I am going to rock with um, the clicker on for now didn't put a weight on this Oops. well you guys ask why do you rock with the clicker on whenever it's already when it's locked down the holder well I like when the takedown happens I like hearing the clicker pull drag or the, when a drag pulls the clicker go off it just tickles my fancy and if you're like you're asleep or not paying attention, like you hear it. We're using these big hookers, terminal tackle, mag catter. I think these are the 10 extra heavy duty ones. And they are bad to the bone, bad to the bone. And I really, really like them. I've been using them for about three or four months now and have not lost very many fish. Of course, I'm gonna lose a couple. You're gonna do that with any of them, but I was losing a lot of fish on the other hooks I was using. And the guy who owns this company sent them to me. Come and try them out. And I tried them out for a couple weeks and I was like, all right, I like them. So if you wanna go get you some good catfish hooks and support a small business here out of East Tennessee that also supports catfishing itself, Hooker's Terminal Tackle is it. Yeah, I'm going to have to be careful on these front two rods because um, there's a rope up here. So, 
Them fellers are locked in. And now, oops, you can see I'm just staggering it all around. Doing just imagine a big cast net, but it's bait. <laughs> and it's a diameter of like 30 yards all around the boat. So if they come through this little chute, they're gonna come by these pieces of skipjack. They're gonna see them. Whether they come by them, I can't control. But I think this is the place to be. I got a feeling. If it ain't the place to be right now, it'll be the place to be this evening. That I am somewhat confident of. Oh yeah, fresh bait, fresh bait, fresh bait. Give her a little lob over here. I mean, there are just trees everywhere along the bait and out, bank and out in the center. So the likelihood of us getting snagged up at some point, pretty high. Pretty high. Yummy. I can't remember the last time I've been catfishing on rod and reel. Jugging was the first time I've been in a while. I kind of give them a break while they're spawning. One, just to let them do their thing. And two, like, usually during the spawn, it's like peak boating activities for like people who like to jet ski and everything. And like, I literally about lose my mind. Fall is in the air this morning though. I can feel it. It was 60 something degrees this morning when I woke up. Like smells like Tennessee football and catfish. All right. Yeah, I didn't really hook that one very well. This one, I'm gonna long bomb way over there to those laydowns. Boom. OG double daddy rig with this pen fathom I've had for forever. Mmm, tasty. The color of skipjack, like in the sunlight, they're beautiful. I mean, look at those colors. It's like fluorescent green and the blues and the purple, like they are beautiful fish. They're nasty, so nasty, and so hard to keep alive, especially compared to saltwater bait after I did that for a week. Uh, you can shove 200 saltwater baits in a little tank and they'll survive. But you put 10 skipjack in a 100 gallon tank and you have a hard time keeping them alive. I guess it'd just be like that. Operation Carpet Bomb. Creek catfish is a go. We got 10 rods out. Every rod holder on the boat's filled other than two in the back. And I could have brought two more rods, but that would have been a little overkill. 10 is where I draw the line. This might be a fish, finally. It's not a turtle. Please. Dang it. Nope, no turtle. Son of a biscuit. He's still on it. Look at that. Oh, he's... Came off. I think that was 
a gar or a turtle. As soon as it had weight, it was just gone. We'll find out by how this looks. Gar or a turtle, one of the two. Probably a turtle. That's what they do right there. And we are just gonna have to fight that today. Because they're gonna do it. A lot. This one right here. See that rod tip just... That one right there got hit. That one appears to be getting swam with. I'm tying up a popping cork rig right now for skipjack. They keep swimming with them. I'm about to reel down on them. Yeah, he's still swimming with it. So hard to tell if it's a flathead or a turtle gar. Uh, I didn't like that little. I think that's a turtle. Probably that one that chewed on our bait up there and you just swam over here. Mm, that looks like another good piece of meat to eat. I'm going to tear it up. You can put it down. Well, I got something getting bit right here. And there'll be skippies busting everywhere. Come on. I'll take a channel cat. Just no more turtles. I've gotten turtled on like six rods. Look at them. They're getting chased right there. Crazy. I have to say, it's kind of hard to throw a 10 rods out and not get tangled. That one up top in the corner is getting hit again. I think this evening it's going to really light up. that water temp heats up and we get a little low light. Nothing. We got our first bite right here. Look, he's swimming at us. Put it down. I think he put, no, he's still there. It's hard to tell with these daggum flatheads if it's a daggum gar or a turtle. I don't know. Or a flathead, because they all bite really similar. Sometimes a big flathead will slam it, but a lot of times we'll just be like, mmm. I ain't quite sure. That was our first bite, though. Had rods out for eight minutes. Eight or nine. Since I turned the camera off. Here we go again. I don't know what the heck is going on. I mean, some of these look like decent fish from where they're holding them down like this. 
I mean, that looks decent. Like it's swimming off to the right. Like that is decent. That is a catfish. What kind of catfish? I don't know, but it is in fact a catfish. Oh, it started to come to the surface out there. This is a turtle, it's gonna be turtle soup. Have I ever made turtle soup? Nope. Will I figure it out just to spite this thing? Yes. Oh, flatty. First flatty of the day. That's what we came here for. Very nice. Very nice. Now that looks like a flathead bite. Very nice. First flatty of the day. Okay. Oh, I forgot I actually have some new boga grips. Actual boga grips right here. For my buddy Jeff. He got sick of coming fishing with me and me not having a net or a, a a scale. There we go. That hook got him right. Got him good. Oh, he just hit me in the nuts with his tail. In the nuts. I had a 60 pounder do that on Watts Bar one time, and I had basketball shorts on, and that was just brutal. But we got us a beautiful flathead there. Beautiful fish. Let's see how much he weighs. First time I've used this thing. 10 pound, that's what I was thinking. Pretty little 10 pounder to start the day. Whatever that is is hooked up. We're gonna find out, I guess, what it is. But first, Yes, yeah, so a little flatty. A little flatty. Not bad. We're going to release him. Bloop. And then we're going to catch whatever this is. Whatever it was, it just came off. So I hope it was a turtle and I don't have to deal with it now. He was mad. He was an angry turtle. I thought he was hooked up, but I guess not. Big old double bait's getting hit. Please go down and be a flathead. Please. That's all Mark's asking for. I'm going to take your picture. We're going to put you on YouTube, and we're going to make you famous. I'm even in the flathead shirt. Like, this is the flathead shirt from the crazy flathead video where I caught 400 pounds of them by myself in, like, an hour and a half. Come on. I just want to take your picture. Is that so hard? This thing has swum all the way up here. All right, now I'm tied again. We'll leave it there for a second, but that looks mighty turtley. Dang it. Back. That looked like a good takedown. Slow and steady. Nope, guess not. We're in the poopy mill of the day right now. But we did catch a flathead. We ain't skunked. Caught some skipjack. I'll probably catch more skipjack on the way out. I don't know how long I'm gonna sit here. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna do something a little risky and reel this in and put it right in front of one of those trees. Cause why not? Yeah, so getting turtled to death off to that side and one flathead. And then 
Well, this one kind of got hit. That one got chewed on a little bit. We'll put another fresh bait out. Since we got them. Might as well, you know. I'm basically going through and checking on. Gosh, that was another good, like, pull down. So wacky. That's pretty. What's it gonna do? Pop back up. <laughs> Dagum turtles may have as a channel cat on this one a little channel kitty gosh how violent he's mad <laughs> we have a catfish catfish number two in turtle gar creek this is a catfish look there's a skipjack <laughs> blowing up Basically on that front line. Just start bringing me like a thing of minners and throw it out and see what I catch. I'm betting this is a channel cat, y'all. They do those little neat, neat, neat things. They do be a channel cut fish! Channel cut, channel cut, channel cut. A male one too. Every time the sun disappears from the clouds, the skipjacks start coming out. So I'm thinking this evening, they're really gonna start busting. Male, look at the head on that guy. Look at the head, little guy. That hook got him now. Oh, my old channel cat, channel kitty. Oh, and he rehooked himself momentarily, and I almost lost my rod. That was about to be no good. He's no good. All right, we'll cuss another bait then. I'm just burning through bait back here because all these daggum turtles and stuff, but I ain't burning through catfish yet. Sometimes it's just like that. Sometimes it is just like that. Keep throwing. Eventually there's going to be a big flathead that moves through here. Gotta be. I mean, we caught nine the other night when we were jugging for like two hours, maybe. Never fished it before. Brian and I were in here one time just, can't remember what we were doing. We were like, this looks good for catfish. We need to come back and jug. And we did, and it worked. And then now I'm like, all right, we're on real time. That has become the best way to scout for catfish I've found, at least in shallow water areas, is jug. And it's really fun too. At this point, I expect nothing. I expect it to be a turtle. We're batting two for 40. I wonder if it's a turtle or not. Boat swaying. Well, I gave this spot literally a couple hours, caught two fish and got mauled to death by turtles and gar. 
so I'm moving. I'm gonna go a little bit further out the creek, a little bit deeper and see if we can get away from them right now. We may come back in here further as it gets closer to the dark. Maybe the flatheads are out chilling in the deeper section of it. But there was only one little one right here. Well, we got spot number two and we got the same stuff happening. I guess I'm just going to ride it out till dusk and bump around here and see if I can find some place where there are flatheads and not freaking gar. Well, this is actually a catfish of some kind. Of which I'm very surprised. Come here, get, do not go over towards the red buoy. Red is for not go. Come here, come here. Dark channel cat, dark, look at that thing. Mean looking dude. A head on that thing. Let's take a look at this mean old channel cat. Make sure my camera doesn't fall in the water here. Look at that ugly chrome dome on this guy. <laughs> Goober looking dude. They have the coolest looking heads though. But dang, they're ugly. They make me look good. All right. Let's let them go. Uh. Beep. See ya. Less than graceful on my part, but catfish a number three in the middle of the day. Possibly. Can you put it down? No, he's still there. Right here. Oh, and double bait. He's been messing with it for a second. That looks like it's got some weight. Because that's a heavy action rod. got some weight that's got a little weight that's got a little weight that's better oh god there's drag there's a flathead y'all there's a flathead I don't know how good I've got this hook in them and I don't know where this anchor on's back here Coming at me. About to be strapping down with them. Oh, there's weight. Nope, get out of there. Oh, big flathead. Big flathead. Big flathead. Big flathead. Big flathead. Big flathead. Alright, come on. Big flathead. Oh, he's pulling the boat around. Look at the front end of the boat he's pulling around. Look at the boat. We're going in a circle. Big flathead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we want. Mean looking guy. He had a double bait. They're waking up finally. 
took a little nap over there in my chair. Oh God, he just pulled drag. Get up here. He's weird looking. mean he is those are that is one of the coolest colorations on a flathead i've ever seen come here got him that's a good fish yes sir we got him oh god don't break my rods that's a good fish yeah, baby. They're waking up. Gosh, that's a heifer. He's got a fish or something in his gullet down there. Well, we got a double. Double. Double, 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 double. Big giant flathead in the boat. And I got something on here. I think it's a channel cat or it's a small flathead. He's coming right at me though. My anchors are all pulled. This is a channel cat for sure. Come on, get up here. Just when I was about to go back to the truck and sit in the AC, I left all my snacks and my drinks and it's 90 degrees. What do we got? Yes, Channel Cat. Channel Cat! Channel Cat, Channel Cat, Channel Cat! That's not a bad double though. I'll take it. That's how we do it, baby. Yes, sir. All right, let's hold up this big guy. Having to adjust my camera here so that we don't have any whoopsie daisies. All right, is that focusing? Kinda. We gotta unhook and get rid of this channel cat first. Channel cat number two or three, I don't know. But it's three o'clock now. I got some bloody knuckles from that flathead and the, the sun is absolutely blowing this video out. I may have to move around the camera because it's really bright. Ow, it hit me in the nuts. There's that channel cat. Burger 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 burger. Oh, hello, channel cat. Mm, see ya. All right, let's let's look at it from this angle. Can't really tell. That's what we want, baby. The big old flathead. Oh, 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 oh. Good looking flat. Good looking flat, baby. I still can't get this lighting right. I don't know. I'm out here by myself. Brian just called me. Sorry, Brian. But I'll be catching flatheads. Yes, sir. Look at the colors on them. All right, let's let them go. What do you say? See you. Yes, sir. You guys want to catch another channel cat? Because here it is. <laughs> Oh, I came off. Dang it. Did he? Yeah, he came off. 
That was definitely a chino cat bite. I now know what they look like. I'm just slowly letting all these baits get eaten and bringing them in, and then I'm gonna go sit in the truck for 30 minutes. Oof. That's why it didn't hook up. Very sad. Oof. Oh, we have the boys now. Uh, no, not yet. Yeah. And over there, like on the other side of the yeah, buoys. Like a little ways down. I anchored there earlier this morning. It was just Gar Central, so I don't know. It was the middle of the day in Bluebird, like not ideal flathead conditions. I don't know. I don't I know. Is I went back to the truck and took a nap for 45 minutes. And Brian brought me drank, and then Nick brought me Cheetos because I hadn't eaten anything or had anything to drink for nine hours. Oh, there's a couple of skips there too. We caught some skips. Yes. He's good. All right, choose where you want to anchor. What was that, Brian? Yeah, I was anchored in between the two buoys. Let's put it in the corner and cast out this way. I think. Yeah. There it is. Oh yeah. Brand new anchor. Chuck it, I reckon. Yeah. A bloop. You gonna toss this back one, Brian? Let some line out. All right. Woo! My heads are awake now. And you want me to pull us that way? Yep. I don't think it's just like moving along the bottom. Yeah, it's dragging. It's just all mud in here. Barely pulling it. I'm like pulling it towards us. I'll be sitting back and relaxing by the pool. while they cut bait and put rods out. I'm even going to kick my feet up. I got a sunburn. Look at that. Woo! A ginger with a sunburn? No. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Oh, they cast. What'd you say, Nick? Diet Pepsi is good luck for catfish. Uh, yeah. It is. It's my good luck. And then channel catfish? Channel catfish is good luck in general. That's a lie. Yeah, if you're homeless. <laughs> <laughs> Pepsi <laughs> on my damn nose. Oh, I made myself laugh on that one. Oh, prime. <laughs> what we got here? What we got here? Oh, bass boat coming in. I love it. They're just going to wake us to death. I love it. Brian, I got the camera. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get copyrighted. Turn that music off.
All right, the homie with the angsty music has left. If you're watching this, your music's angsty. Are you 15? Oh, he's right here. Just about coming up here. Remember, you got an anchor up here? Yep. Step on the front neck again. Good rod bend. Look at that. That's the heavy action, too. Yeah. Oh, that's good fish. Oh, wow, yeah. I don't know how good of a hook I got in him. That's a good one. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Dude, he's just been chilling with this bike. Look, he's digging in the mud. Yeah, Look, I see that. Is. I wonder if it's a giant turtle. Look at that mud he's kicking up. What is this? No look, at, look at the, oh. the bubbles. What is this? Yeah. Oh, what is it? Turtle. Turtle. Soft shell turtle? What the heck? I'm getting off the front deck. What kind of turtle is it? I don't think it's... No, it's not a snap. That's wild. Come here and get that on camera. I've never seen a turtle like that. He's gone oh. now. Came off. Well, that's probably for the best of Yeah. That was a weird turtle. If you know what kind of turtle that was, let us know, because I have no idea what that was. It wasn't a snapping. That's for sure. I was like... We've got an owl out here. Nick's going to do an owl hoot. I love fishing in these creeks because you're just like off on your own, basically. There, there it went. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, baby. There we go. Fish. Fish, fish, got the fish. You got him? Hey, on there. Hey. Too busy doing the research. On the, what bar now we were like? What kind of owl? Nick, you want to be cameraman and I'll be the boa gripper? Sure. All right. I'm chilling today, you guys, or now because I roasted all day before these guys got here. They found me at my truck asleep, or Brian did. Right here, I'll take the captain's chair. I'm going to tip the boat over. Me? Goodness. He's towing it. I back that drag off just a little bit. Oh, this is getting hit, Mark. Which one? This one right here just it got hit. It goes down, it goes down. Okay. Dude. What is this? Look, he's kicking mud up off the bottom. Whoa. We're in like drag, 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 drag. Drag. Lots of drag. Oh, baby. Left head shuffle. Oh, a good one. Oh, you messed me up so bad. Oh, gosh, that's not like the biggest flathead ever. Like, that's a good size flat, but that fought, dude. Oh, that hurt.
Very nice. Three quarters of width of the boat. Yeah. It's a good flathead. Yeah. God, he bit me so hard. I've never had one bite down the hard. like crushed yeah, this, my fingertips. This one's a mean one. That hurt. Probably 30. Well, thankfully we have these new fancy scoops. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff Trimley with Smile on Nashville, our newest sponsor with Boga Grips. <laughs> it's actually a birthday present. Hook, hook them up there. Here, you wait on the fish. Those grips are pretty cool. What's the read on there? 32. 30, yeah. 32. Yeah. Good fish. Those grips are sweet. Yep. This is solid fish. Very nice. Oh, fish. It looks good on camera, too. The fish, not Brian. <laughs> All right, we'll take a picture of it. Chomp. Zoom in on that. Uh, so the fish are you, eat, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> He's talking. All right, let's take a. Let's see him. Hold that sucker back up there. That's a big old feller. Good looking. Black that thing fought. Boy. All right, thick boy. Throw him in over there. See ya. That's what we came out here for. Fresh cut bait. I love flatheads. Every one. time. That was a mean That was a mean flathead. All right, Nick, it's your turn. Hell yeah. He twimmin', he twimmin'. Oh, he put it down. He's it. He still on it? I don't know. I think, yeah. Is he? Yeah, that looks like a channel cat. If I haven't seen it. I can get ready to put some heat on her. Yeah, it's slacked up now. Probably coming at you. I don't know. Oh no. That storm's coming in. Yep. We ought to get us another flathead here. I reckon. That one's getting set up top too. I think that turtle is fast though. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Nope. Still there? He's on there. He's on it. I don't know. I just felt it. I wish he'd just take it. Yeah, take it like your flag. Just slam a jam in it. That'd be ideal. Well, a flathead comes and eats him. You remember that one flathead from the island this spring that looked like a striper when it hit it? Yeah. I just couldn't get it out of the rod holder. I was sick. It was stuck. Like glued to the rod holder. He's got it was just peel and drag. Trying to get it out. And he couldn't get it out. Yeah, the hook was set though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the it, drag was tight. It pulled it for like 15 seconds. It did. I thought it was going to be like a 40, 50 pound striper. That's way too big to be a seagull. Also, there's no sea. Yeah, but there's no gulls. <laughs> Walmart chickens. I put it down. Dang it, come on. This one this time.
Listen to all the crickets and everything out here. I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Look at how long his neck can go. He's kind of turtle. <laughs> What'd that neck do? What'd that neck do? <laughs> you uncircumcised. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> turtle. Soft shell turtle. Soft shell turtle. Turtle with the soft shell. He's gonna find out if they do. I don't think so. Look at his nose. Pretty yeah. cool, huh? trying to call me. So this is a spiny soft shell turtle. There we go. Pretty cool. Throw them back. I think you can eat these. I'm not, I'm not, we're not going to, but... Oh, he's yeah. trying to bite you. I bet he could. He's good. Yeah. <laughs> he definitely could. You want him? Yeah, let me get a... There you go. Get a... Oh. <laughs> Fucking well, just took off. You let him go. Step on him. Go. Whatever you do, that's a soft. <laughs> <laughs> Genius. I don't even know how you grab them. Just by the sides, I guess. Trophy picture with this guy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like how his feet fell. Yeah, he was coming. <laughs> Who's giving you them toes? <laughs> Toe beans. <laughs> Are we gonna make it back to the boat ramp, boys? Not if I'm driving. Yee <laughs> yee!